Hello and welcome, Scorpio. Fancy meeting you here today. My name is Dragu. I live at the base of Mount Shasta. I was born and raised in beautiful Mount Shasta, California. Here to do a tarot reading for you today from the Santa Muerta Oracle and the Dark Mansion Tarot, which is my favorite. Okay, your first card for this reading, Scorpio, is Chalchitliku. She's the goddess of all the waters, lakes, seas, and sailors, as well as the goddess of beauty and fertility. Do not fight against the flow you are in. A river cannot be tamed with force. You must surrender to its current and use its strength as if it were your own. Your second oracle card is Fraternity. No true evolution or progress is possible if we consider ourselves to be isolated from the world. This card encourages us to do any spiritual and subsequent material work in a state of solidarity and trust towards others. Approach your work and your actions in a state of socialness and solidarity, perhaps starting collaborations with those you trust. I'm going to do a 12 card reading for you today, Scorpio. I also have uh, private readings available on my website. It's draguartworks.com. There is a link in the description. And on my website, I also have custom patterns that I make. Um, they're figurines on top of an urn box most of them hand cast in resin hand painted and customized to photos of your pet so they'll come out looking just as close as i can get to your pet i do cats dogs guinea pigs birds and the list is growing I'm a, i got a ferret one in the works and um maybe a hamster one too okay scorpio your first card is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords says that there is uh, cheating or stealing happening. Um, this could be a person as in like a significant other, an ex, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, that is physically cheating on you. It, all, it could also be an emotional cheating. They're having like an emotional affair. But not only that, this can also be if you're selling online or like selling on Etsy, this could be that there are other people stealing your ideas from you and um, trying to make money off of your ideas, which is not cool and there's nothing you can do about. But um, that is something that happens a lot with the print on demand people. I see that a lot. Um, this card means betrayal there's a deception taking place. Somebody's trying to get away with something. I hope it's not you, because um, you shouldn't do that. Um, if it is you, this is a stern warning from the universe to knock it off. If it's someone around you, watch for sneaky behavior. Watch for people keeping secrets. You can feel it. You can feel when they're keeping a secret. And look for red flags. Um, some somebody's running away from something that um they caused this could also be that you're running away from something that you just don't want to deal with um if you have some sort of problem that you kind of need to deal with but you'd rather not you could be um procrastinating to deal with that it's possible i don't know let's find out Ooh, the Ten of Swords, ouch. Okay, this might hurt. Um, the Ten of Swords says you are a victim of betrayal and deceit. Somebody stabbed you in the back. It could have been a family member, a significant other, um, any person around you really, because that's what people do, unfortunately. And this is the end of the relationship as you know it. Um, although this is really painful, you have to accept it and move on. 
um, resisting this will just add more to your suffering. Uh, that's a big change in your life too. So it's kind of a double whammy. If this is someone that you've been dependent on, especially emotionally, that can make life really hard for you because you feel like you have no one to talk to. Um, try to find somebody to talk to. Try to find a trusted uh, friend or something that you know really well that would never use anything against you. Be careful of that too. Don't talk to people that you don't know that well and tell them your secrets because a lot of people thrive on doing that, using that against you, which really sucks. Okay. Oh yeah, they broke your heart here. Big time. So I'm kind of thinking this was a, a romantic relationship. Could still be a family member. That's, that's rough. Okay, Three of Swords, that's the heartbreak card. It stands for sorrow, grief, um, hurtful words ringing in your ears. Um, the good news is you're the person that can pluck these swords out of your heart. Um, the way to do that is to express your sadness. You can have a good cry, talk to somebody like we talked about here. Um, release and let the emotion flow out. Um, there's a really good Buddhist trick that I learned from the Shasta Abbey uh, Buddhist Monastery. It's right up the street from where I live. Um, they said if, if you're going through something like this, meditate on what happened. Kind of go through it systematically, step by step. And when you get to the feeling part of it, don't try to resist the feeling. Let the feeling come let it wash over you hold on to it for a little as long as you can let yourself really 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 feel it no matter if it's painful or whatever just really sit in it for a few minutes let it just kind of marinate let it brew let it resonate through your whole body and then when it's you feel like it's at its peak and, and you can't really stand to sit in it anymore let it go but when you let it go don't let it go with hatred or get away from me or any of that you let it go with love because it's a part of you that's your emotion even though it was created out of a bad situation it's still a part of you and if you try to get rid of it hard it'll never go but if you get rid of it gently with love and you release that emotion into the universe then you'll heal a lot faster you may have to do this um you know, three, four times, maybe longer. I don't know. It depends upon this. This looks like kind of a bad situation. So, um, you know, do what you need to do to get these swords out of your heart so you can move on. Cause this, this is awful. This doesn't feel good. I'm sorry. This is just no fun. This is a no fun reading so far. Jeez Louise. Okay. We got the death card reversed. The death card reverse says that you are resisting change, that you're unable to let go, that you keep reliving the events over in your head. Um, that's where this meditation I was talking about will help. Because if you're ruminating on this and living it over and hearing it in your head over and over and over again, you're, um, you're not able to release it. You're just cooking in it and you're gonna suffer more, which really stinks. Um, look out into the world, into options that are still open to you and embrace this change. I, I know it sounds easy and it's not easy and it sucks, but try to embrace this change because at least you're moving forward past it and it's over now. And once it's over, it can't hurt you anymore. The only thing that can hurt you is prolonging your own suffering, which you don't want to do. Um, you never know what better times await you in the future. So let's not keep living in the past. Why don't you look around, open your eyes, look around and see what's out there. Maybe there's something, maybe the reason this fell apart is so that you can have something wonderful on the other end. You know, that's usually the way the life cycles go. 
Okay, your next card is Judgment Reversed. Judgment Reversed calls for reflection and self-evaluation. It says to work on acceptance, which is kind of what we're just saying, to forgive yourself. Try to forgive people around you, but mostly forgive yourself. Release this negative baggage and move on, which is what we were just saying. Justice reverse often appears when the universe is trying to send you a message, but you're not listening. Um, you could be so emotionally caught up in all this little hamster wheel right here that um, the option to get out of it is coming at you and you just, you can't hear it because all you hear is this. So that's why you need to um, let go, meditate, look around and listen. Connect with the divine and be open to signs and synchronicities in your life. Uh, numbers on the clock, one, 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 or that's one too many ones, sorry. One, 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 or two, 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 or three, three, three. Those are all signs from the universe. Um, you can look those up online. Uh, just put in a, uh, angel number two, 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 and see what it says. And you will get these neat messages. It's really cool. Um, oh, another thing you can do, if you have an inner critic that is bugging you, you have a lot of negative self-talk, you have a lot of self-doubt um, that's keeping you from looking forward and having a positive attitude. I know how that is. I, I went through that. Don't feel bad. I think it happens to a lot of people. But um, I heard this really cool thing the other day. They said, name your inner critic. Give it a name like Fred or Bob or Kyle. You could name it Kyle. And when it starts telling you that, you know, you never have any ideas, you're not good enough, um, you're never going to be anything, you don't deserve nice things or a nice life, you go, shut up, Kyle, or, you know, whatever. Shut up, Fred. Shut up, Bob. And you assure your inner critic that everything is going to be fine. You assure them, you tell them everything's going to be fine. Just be quiet. You'll see everything will be great. And that'll make a lot of that negative self talk disappear. I thought that was kind of cool. Okay. Your next card is the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles reversed encourages you to establish a new routine and stick to it. Um, partly because sticking to a new routine is going to um, trick your brain out of living here. It's going to put your brain into a new, hopefully healthy look around instead of all this funk right here. Pay attention to the more mundane matters in your life and make sure you're getting your life in order. Um, how's your fitness, bills, business relationships? How's your family? Um, or do you need to do home improvements? Do you need like anything like that? Um, that you can put energy into something positive instead of all this old junk. Um, you could be trying to be a perfectionist and it's, you're shooting yourself in the foot because you're self-sabotaging by putting an unrealistic standard onto what you're trying to um, create and that's never good. So um, embrace imperfection. Don't be a perfectionist. It's, I used to be that way too. I used to do that when I was very, very much younger and um, I was exhausted from trying to do a better job than anybody else in the world. I thought that I was a better person by doing that and I wasn't, it didn't change anything. It, it just made me tired. I don't know why I did it. I just kept doing it. I just thought this ego stuff, I guess it was in my case, but, um, don't worry about being perfect. Do the best you can. Don't do a shitty job, but, um, do the best you can and be open to new experiences. Okay. Your next card is the six of swords. Finally, we're getting some movement here. My God, I was getting worried about you here. Okay, the Six of Swords is a state of transition. It's moving into the unknown, leaving the familiar behind. 
That's what we need to do here. Good. Let go of what is holding you back. Let go of the hurts. Let go of the anger. Let go of all those emotions that are weighing you down. Uh, these swords represent a heavy weight that is weighing you down. And that is part of the baggage that you have on your little boat trip here. Um, leave what you don't need and take with you whatever you do. Try to be use wise discernment in choosing what you want to keep and what you want to leave behind that's just dragging you down. Okay, your next card is the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is a new beginning, manifesting a personal goal. Um, it's the initial motivation to start turning a dream into reality. It doesn't mean that you did turn a dream to reality. It's you're going to, you're looking at it, you're seeing the potential and you're going to start because you think this is a good thing to work on to manifest into reality. So it's the beginning of a journey of something new that you think will be um, prosperous and successful. Um, have a clear plan and make sure that that is in alignment with your higher self and your path. Uh, back up and take a look at the big picture. Make sure you're not veering off of your path. Make sure that you have a life goal and that you have a clear path to reach that life goal. And make your steps realistic and achievable. Don't put things in your way, obstacles in your way, saying, oh, I have to do write 200 pages of a new book tomorrow. Don't set yourself up for failure. Um, set yourself up with reasonable, slow, achievable steps. Oh, good. Finally, the sun. Good. Finally, some good news around here. Okay. The sun is success, radiance, abundance. Um, this is the message that you've been waiting for. This is the message that everything is about to get a whole lot better. Um, this is in regards to finances as well as good health and vitality, um, happiness, indulging your inner child, which sometimes we need to do. So that's, that's great. Very happy to see that. Okay, your next card is the Nine of Pentacles. Well, this is getting a whole lot better. Look at this. Great. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is abundance, financial independence, um, the reward after your hard work. This is the harvest. This is, um, you're at the state where you're in luxury, you're in comfort. Um, you can treat yourself for what you have achieved. You can treat yourself with something nice that you want. Um, you should be proud of this success. You, you deserve it. And enjoy the harmony in your life. This is a wonderful place to be. Much better than over here. Okay. Ooh, the Six of Wands. Wow. Okay, the Six of Wands is um, marriage success, public accolade, public acknowledgement, achieving a significant goal, being proud of what you have achieved. Um, this is an important milestone, but this is not, you haven't uh, crossed the finish line yet. You're partway in your journey, but you reached a significant milestone. There may still be challenges ahead but don't forget you have the support of these people around you that are your well-wishers here. Aha, very nice. Okay, Ten of Cups is happy home, happy family. Harmony, alignment, stability, and comfort, and the end of difficult times. And it's interesting that we have children here, harvest here, marriage here and more children here there's a possibility that um you're going to have more children there's more children around in your life something like that 
it could be, a, it's not necessarily a pregnancy card, it could be a conception card, um, but it could be marriage or engagement. Maybe he has kids from his previous and he's bringing into your family, so you're going to have a bigger family soon. This is great. All right, Scorpio. Well, thanks for stopping by. Um, if this is you, I'm sorry for the hard time you're having, but it looks like things are looking up and it looks like the future is bright. Um, if you would like to, please comment, like, subscribe, and um, please let us know in the comments how this, does, does this resonate in your life and how does it resonate? You don't have to be real wordy, but um, let us know how things are going if, if your life, what stage are you at on this? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed your reading and I'll be back next week to do another one for you. Hang in there. Your future looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So I will see you next week. Thanks for stopping by and um, have a wonderful day.